Good morning. All right. Uh, I have no slide presentation. So just working off notes. I want to run some words by you first. Top line driven. The three D's. Herding chickens. Don't forget to fly the plane. Choose to be profitable. Work hard. The three E's. ROI times 10. Failure. It's not free. Risk. Marketing. So I'm going to talk on each of those topics if I get to them all. I will. <laughs> so I live here in East Lansing, too. It's a short drive for me to get here. I did start the first store uh, here in East Lansing next to Crunchy's, for those of you who are familiar with the East Lansing area. And we did grow to 115 stores. I did go to MSU, too. Holy cow. And I managed to graduate. <laughs> Took me eight years to get my four-year degree. I'm often called Big B Bob. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Big B Bob. You can find me there. I titled this Ramblings of an Entrepreneur mostly because I didn't know what I was going to talk about when I had to come up with the title. I was advised to not use a PowerPoint presentation, which frightened me to death. So I did it anyway. I chose to go 18 minutes, which made me think, what was I thinking? You're supposed to have an open and a close in this kind of scenario, but I have so much anxiety about leaving room for the close that my close is going to be my open. After that, I have the 12 topics that I just listed, and I will list them again, and you will shout them out, and you will tell me which one you want to hear. So let me cover a core value uh, for an entrepreneur, and this is for our business, and this is for me. It's called Faith, Confidence, and Courage. And I'll have to read a little bit. I apologize. Faith. Faith is something that can be external or internal. It doesn't matter. Faith can be external like a religion and a God that you believe in, or it can be internal along the lines of inner spirit. Whichever it is, you need it. Faith is an adherence to truth. You need faith for the moments in time when you have doubt. And there are always moments of doubt. There always is. These moments test our fortitude and our perseverance. These moments make us second guess our decisions, our ideas, and our idealism. With faith in our pocket, we can always move forward and believe, even when others don't, even when others have doubt. We need faith. You need faith. Faith allows us to move forward. Confidence. Confidence is a virtual fabrication. It doesn't exist unless you say it does. It's just an idea. Now, confidence can be created with practice, and practice produces something familiar, something you know, something you've done before. You've heard the words, practice makes perfect, right? Well, confidence is nothing more than having done something before. Or confidence is simply an idea of self-reliance. In other words, you are comfortable in what you do, in who you are, and where you're going. And although other people may not be able to see what you see, and they may not have your vision, it doesn't matter. You know, you believe, you believe in you. That's confidence. Courage. My definition of courage is doing something you're afraid of anyway. Just like a soldier who might put themselves in harm's way, they know they might be killed, but they do it anyway. Courage is doing something you're afraid of anyway. Courage is the essential component to personal freedom. We all have fears. They might be big, they might be small, but we have them. I have many. One is public speaking.
As a matter of fact, from the time I was in elementary school all the way through college, I was petrified at the idea of facing a group of people. The only way I was able to overcome my fear was to look in the mirror and say, I am afraid. The minute I did this, I was free. The moment I said I am afraid, I knew that I could overcome it and just do it. Of course, I'm still a little afraid today of public speaking, but I do it anyway, as you can see. Courage, the ability to do something you're afraid of anyway. Don't forget to use it. OK, so I have 12 topics. I'm going to start reading them off. If you shout one out, I'll cover it. The three Ds, herding chickens. OK. Hurting, not, not hurting like pain. <laughs> hurting like rustling. So um, imagine uh, a, a, a pen full of chickens, and they're all on one side, and you have to shoo them to the other. And as you know, chickens move in all kinds of directions. And it's one of the reasons why I like social media. And in this case, I'm not referring to it as a media, uh, but as a communication tool. What I like about social media is that I'm able to talk simultaneously to different pipelines of people. They might be, for me, employees, customers, vendors, uh, friends, parts of the community. But I get to speak to them all simultaneously. There is no other means of communication that I'm able to simultaneously give one message that they can all understand. And they can all get into the insight of who I am and what our company is. Social media allows me to fill in the cracks of the little ideas that hold a company together. All right. Don't forget to fly the plane. Choose to be profitable. Work. All right. Thank you. To succeed, choosing to be profitable creates sustainability. Any small business, in order to survive tomorrow, needs to be profitable. It's a little capitalistic, but it's just true. You need money at the end of the day. In small business, being profitable is a lot like running your checking and savings account at home. And as a person, personally, if you save money, you can do it one of two ways. You can save money by taking your paycheck, paying all your bills, and then putting whatever's left over into savings. Or uh, you can get your paycheck and decide up front to put a little money away for savings. And that might be 1% or 2% or 5% or 10%, it doesn't really matter, and then pay all your bills. Well, out of those two scenarios, there's only one way that you really save money, and that's when you put money away ahead of time. And in small business, you need to do the same thing. You need to choose in advance to be profitable. You have to decide that the profit is an expense line. It's very magical. Whatever money you have always gets spent. So just go ahead and pay that profitability first. Determine the amount. You must choose to be profitable. OK, don't forget to fly the plane. Well, this is really about uh, the economy. And in today's uh, world, we get a lot of inputs in terms of how things really aren't that good. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It could come from the newspaper or the news or the internet, your friends, the bar, your neighbor. It happens all the time. And in flight school, uh, when you go through pilot's training, they put you in crisis scenarios. And when they put you in crisis scenarios, um, what happens in the cockpit is that there's a lot of buzzers that go off, and there's a lot of alarms that go off, and there's a lot of warning signals. And typically what happens to a young pilot or a new pilot is they begin to pay so much attention to the buzzers, the bells, and the whistles that they forget to fly the plane, and the plane crashes. So what I'm telling you is, in your business, in your life, 
regardless of these outside bells and whistles, don't forget to fly the plane. Work hard. Three E's. Three E's, okay. To be entrepreneurial means you have to have energy, excitement, and enthusiasm. Energy is drive, stamina, intensity, and this is the most important part, with pluck. You gotta have pluck, damn it. <laughs> excitement, animated, dramatic, passionate, with hullabaloo. Hullabaloo being the most important word. Enthusiasm, zealous conviction in what you're doing. It's contagious. The three E's. Not free. Not free. It's not free. It's about social media again. Social media says media. It's like any other media. There's outdoor, there's print, there's radio, there's television, there's print, there's direct mail. Social media is a media. It's a media because you have an opportunity to make an impression. And that's what we do on these other medias. And that's what we do on social media. It is a marketing tool. It's OK to acknowledge it as such. If you do acknowledge it as such, please don't forget when you're tweeting or Facebooking to include the name of your business. Most people forget to do that. They just assume people know. But essentially, social media increases your frequency of your marketing. And frequency is very important. But the thing of it is, is most of the time, social media is sold as something that's free. And it's just not. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes thought. And it should be a line item on anybody's marketing budget. Risk, marketing, Failure is what I heard. All right. Failure is not an option. Uh, that's wrong. Whoever said that, that's wrong. <laughs> Please fail just a little bit. That way you'll know you're trying hard and reaching. Risk is what I heard first. <laughs> Definitions of an entrepreneur. I hear people say that entrepreneurs take risk, that they're risky people. This is one of the things that makes them successful. I agree, but I worry that people think that we mean gambling and that we're just rolling the dice and we're hoping it all works out. And that's just not true. It's not Vegas style. Entrepreneurs usually have information or an idea or a way of looking at something that's just a little bit different. And to the outside world, what they do appears to be risky, but they have inside information that's different. Entrepreneurs take risks. Marketing, thank you. For me, continuity and number of impressions is everything. I would rather market to one person 100 times than 100 people once. I would rather market to one person 100 times. ROI times 10. Giving is getting. It's not return on investment. It's return on involvement. Donate, donate, donate. Give money, time, energy, product. It doesn't matter. If people ask, give it to them. Invest in where you work, where you live, and where you play. It always comes back to you tenfold. Three Ds. Work hard. Work hard. All right. Definitions of an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs work hard. That's why they're successful. Nah, I would say maybe. 
I know a lot of lazy entrepreneurs. And I think everybody works hard. I mean, the guy down the street from me, raising his family, going to work every day, that person's working hard. What does it mean to work hard? Or does it mean that you simply have to make better decisions? In small business, you have to make good decisions. You come to the fork in the road, you gotta make the right one. It's hard. You're gonna make mistakes, it's okay. But try to make them just once. Small business is a race against your own mistakes. Three Ds. To be an entrepreneur, it takes desire, dedication, and determination. Desire means you want it more than anything else. And the it is like success. Success is like, could be money, could be fame, could be effort. But you want it more than anything else. Dedication means that you have a single-minded, adherent commitment. You have focus. You have the ability to block out the minutia. Dependability. Steadfast, tenacious responsibility. In small business, you have a responsibility to a lot of people. To your community, to the people who work for you, to your family, to your friends. To be an entrepreneur, it takes desire, dedication, and dependability. And I can't do top line driven because I don't have enough time. But I'd like to leave you with these words, and they're very important to me in my business. And they define who we are. Be happy. Have fun. Make friends. Love people. And you will be successful. Thank you.